This is Dr. Desai with Restore PDX. Uh, this is our regenerative radiologist series, and we are looking at uh, a young athlete, 15 year old female, that uh, at least he was a volleyball player and had a complete ACL tear uh, and came to us looking for an alternative to uh, surgical intervention. We talked about uh, do, doing stem cells to try to heal the ACL. Uh, we're going to show you some images. These are the uh, pre-treatment scans. And you can see uh, normally this is a front view of the knee. The ACL should be in this notch here. It should be it's kind of living here, but it's really bright and it's lost its normal uh, connections. And so this was read as a complete rupture of the ACL and there may be a few strands intact, but mainly you know, this was definitely a uh, virtual complete tear and surgery was recommended uh, for her. And you can see this is a uh, red as that. Now on examination, you see a small uh, meniscal tear, uh, posterior horn medial meniscus. So this was read as a full thickness tear. She was recommended surgery. Um, you can see the lard, this bright here is fluid as a fusion. So the interesting thing or the, the uh, nice thing with ACL tears is there's not a need for emergent surgery. They're going to reconstruct the ligament anyway, and they're going to you know, take a, a graft either from the patellar tendon from this tissue here or a, a hamstring tendon and then reconstruct it. So there is no immediate rush uh, or need to rush into a surgery, and oftentimes they let the swelling go down and do what we call prehabilitation even prior to surgeries. Uh, so we decided, why don't we try this and see if it helps, and we take bone marrow uh, stem cells, so that's a picture of that, image guided. We do liposuction, do uh, fat, which is not shown on here, and then we mix that, uh, combine that with the platelet therapy, and these are images of injecting the uh, origin of the, well, the ruptured ACL. We're making sure we put a little bit of contrast and then track the, the path and we're getting nice flow there and you can see here's flow into the uh, MCL fibers. Now that dark is the contrast. What we're not seeing are the stem cells that are flowing up into the mid substance and the proximal uh, areas of tear. So we'll scroll through here and we can see as we're filling this area, the contrast is moving and then we're moving our needles uh, to the more proximal area. And here's some of the other fibers here, remembering that they are torn. So there will be some leakage of the, the contrast and some of the stem cells into the other areas. So we wanna make sure that we're getting as much uh, at the uh, origin of the ACL, the intermedial band, there's two bundles. So we're treating both bundles and making sure we uh, spread that medicine. So we're treating all those areas. That's the treatment. Everything's done uh, under x-ray guidance. Patient uh, responded very well. And so we, you know, we wanna see what's happening. So the uh, patient had their follow-up imaging and this is a frontal view or a coronal view of the uh, ACL. And we can start to see that the fibers look much better. You can see them more clearly. They're extending all the way back to the origin and alignment looks pretty darn good here. Here's another view. You can see that there are fibers that are intact, extending to the, the origin. Um, this was how far out? This is in July. And our treatment, here's some other fibers you can see that are connected. And the other thing that we're looking at is the tautness. So those are connected, and when they're in this position, they're pulled taut, and we can see uh, that there is a, a definite connection. The patient had uh, excellent stability. Uh, and phys they were doing physical uh, therapy and cleared for physical by the physical therapist for full activity and is still uh, doing well to this day and was able to uh, circumvent a uh, ACL reconstruction. Uh, it'd be good to follow this patient up in another, uh, you know, this would probably be a good time to see what's going on and see if there's further maturity of that ligament. Uh, sometimes this was only one treatment there are patients where we need a, kind of a booster therapy to see if we can further strengthen a tendon ligament or soft tissue structure that we're treating. But it looks like at least clinically, we may not have to clinically, we may not have to do anything uh, else for this patient. So this is uh, a very good uh, to excellent outcome.